Star Geeks. Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing about the abundance of elements. I have got a few video requests for this particular topic and here I am with this video. So thank you guys for requesting videos and commenting down below. It really gives me motivation to post for you every day. Now, without much ado, let me tell you all about the abundance of elements in the body as well as in the Earth's crust in the atmosphere as well. So let's get right into it. So firstly, let us talk about the universe the abundance of different elements in the universe. So the most abundant element in the universe is hydrogen gas. So it forms 73.9% of the entire universe, followed by which is helium, that is 24%. Both of these are essential in the formation of the universe. So all our stars, the supernovas, the black holes, they are all because of these two gases. Next is 1% of oxygen present in the universe, followed by carbon, that is 0.5%, neon, 0.1%, iron, 0.1%, nitrogen, 0.1%, silicon, 0.065% in the universe, Mg, 0.058%, and finally, sulfur in the 0.044%. So if I have to say the two major abundant elements in the universe, they are hydrogen and then helium. Next up, in the atmosphere, which gases are abundant? So firstly, nitrogen gas, that is, it, com it constitutes for 78% of the entire atmosphere followed by oxygen gas, which is approximately 20%. Then argon gas, that is 0.9%. Remember, so this is one Nobel gas apart from helium that is present here, that is argon. So helium is abundant Nobel gas in the universe. Argon comes in the abundant gas in the atmosphere. Followed by that, we have the CO2 gas, that is 0.03%. So those were about the atmosphere. Next, the abundance of elements in the metals cr crust. Okay, now abundance of metals in the particular crust. So aluminium basically forms 8.1% of the crust. So it is the most abundant metal in the earth's crust, followed by iron, that is 5%. Then we have calcium, 3.6%. Sodium 2.8%. So majorly the top three elements, metals in abundance in the crust is aluminium, iron, calcium. Followed by that you have potassium and magnesium. So potassium 2.6 and following closely is magnesium. So this is the decreasing order of the abundance of metals in the earth's crust. Then the elemental composition of the earth's crust. So previous slide, we spoke about the metals. Now, what are the elemental compositions? Okay, what is the abundance? So basically most abundant in the earth is oxygen, that is 46.6%, followed by silicon, which is 27.7%, aluminum, 8.1%, iron, 5%, calcium 3.6%. Okay, so these are the elemental compositions of the earth's crust. Next, very, very important in the human body, what is the composition? So here in this slide, I have listed the major bulk constituents of the human body. And these are non metals, namely oxygen. Oxygen comprises of 65% of the human body followed by carbon, which is 18%, then hydrogen, 9.5%, and finally comes nitrogen, that is approximately 3%. So OCHN, this is the order of the non-metals in the human body, most abundant non-metals. Next one is the other elements that are basically abundant. These include mostly metals. So firstly, the most abundant metal in the human body is calcium. So calcium constitutes 1.5% of the human body, 
then followed by non metal phosphorus which is 1.2% then your metal ions that is potassium 0.4% closely following sulfur non metal 0.2% then with sulfur the equivalent amount we have of sodium that is 0.2% followed by that chlorine again on 0.2% and magnesium the least abundant metal in the body that is 0.1 so magnesium was one of the most abundant in the earth's crust but it is least in our body so most abundant metal in our body is calcium next metal that comes in line is potassium followed by sodium then magnesium so this is about everything i could collate into this video if you like it please share it with others subscribe to my channel and definitely do send me video request i'll see you in my next video bye